In the kingdom of the peacocks, a most peculiar phenomenon unfolded. The twin sisters, Melody and Umbra, shared not a single similarity. Melody, the elder sister, was exceptionally beautiful. Her tail adorned with the radiant hues of seven colors. Umbra, on the other hand, had an unsightly tail that bore a striking resemblance to that of a crow. Look at the dark peacock! <laughs> Why did such a difference exist? Subscribe to Wong Fairy Tale to find the answer. Within the birthing chamber. The queen had given birth to two princesses, not one. The situation was dire. Desperate efforts were made to save the queen, but alas, they were in vain. The peacock queen passed away, leaving behind her two infant daughters. Dissimilarities between the sisters extended beyond their appearances. Melody possessed the graceful art of dance, a seven-colored tail unfurling beneath the radiant sun. <laughs> Conversely, Umbra was known for her clumsiness, awkwardness, and an unfortunate knack for causing trouble. <laughs> Melody delighted in exotic delicacies, while Umbra harbored a fascination for insects. Each time, Melody would express frustration and scrutinize Umbra. You must train to comport yourself as a distinguished peacock and abandon this strange dietary habits. Don't force me to comply with your wishes. I wish to spare you from being looked down upon by others. As a grand <laughs> festival approached, yeah. tradition dictated that the peacock who danced most beautifully would be chosen to perform before the divine goddess, receiving her blessings and power. That person would become <laughs> even more talented and powerful. This year, I must dance before the goddess once again. <laughs> Melody confidently proclaimed, trusting her abilities and neglecting practice. Try harder, Umbra. You must put in a hundredfold effort to have a chance. After rigorous training, Umbra returned to her chamber. Who are you? Why were you in my room? I was Ravenna, the queen of the Crow Clan. Your mother, Umbra. <gasps> This is nonsense. I am a peacock, not a crow. <laughs> Allow me to demonstrate. <gasps> when the peacock queen gave birth to Melody, Ravenna had eliminated the midwife, disguised herself and swapped Umbra with a crowling. She had even cast a spell on her own child to make her appear as a peacock. She herself was the one who spread the rumor that the queen had given birth to two princesses. Thanks to you, I could now carry out my revenge plan! <laughs> Why did you go to such lengths, mother? The peacocks were always favored and praised, while the crows were at the bottom of society, treated unjustly. To overthrow them, I needed the power of the divine gem. And you were the one who would wield it, Umbra! So my lack of resemblance to Melody was due to not being from the peacock lineage? As Melody continued to be harsh and critical of herself, she found herself ridiculed by others. I vowed to make them all pay. <laughs> who is Umbra talking to? Umbra! <laughs> it's late! Go to bed quickly so you regain for the competition! Stop standing there babbling! <laughs> I must become the most beautiful dancer. Was I too harsh? On the last day before the grand festival, Melody began her practice. Huh? She noticed Umbra in the <gasps> distance, secretly oh? observing her. Umbra, don't hide! Come out! 
Anyway, I was the chosen one. But to make you completely admit it, we better compete against each other. Fine, let's see. Melody began her first dance steps. Uh, Strangely, uh, her legs felt stiff, <gasps> no longer as agile and graceful as before. Ooh. Melody fell and tried coming back to the dance, but her body no longer obeyed her commands. She had been too overconfident and negligent in her training. It was Umbra's turn, and she glided gracefully across the ground like a gentle breeze. Umbra had improved a lot. However, Melody's elation turned to shock as everyone cheered for Umbra. They believed Umbra was the chosen one for the performance, while Melody was seen as inferior. This feeling was terrible. I used to employ this <laughs> negative approach in the past, hoping that she would improve, but unintentionally, it made Umbra feel pitiful beyond measure. I'm sorry. I had been too harsh on you, only wanting you to be strong. Umbra, forgive me. Umbra saw her elder sister in a pitiable state. She wiped away Melody's tears, but also realized that her revenge mission was not complete. The night of the festival arrived as predicted, and true to the forecast, Umbra was chosen to perform before the divine gem. She gazed at the gem, her eyes as if wanting to devour it. Umbra began to dance, and Melody watched from below with pride. Umbra approached the divine gem and it emitted a brighter light than ever before. Umbra accepted the benevolent rays of light. The peacock <laughs> citizens also bowed their heads in respect and gratitude. Suddenly, Umbra <laughs> snatched the gem from its pedestal. What are you doing? From now on, this gem belongs to me. <laughs> Don't do something foolish, Umbra. At that moment, the Crow <laughs> Queen appeared. You fools. Umbra is a crow, not a peacock. I place her here to seek revenge <laughs> against you all. <gasps> Even though she was a crow, Umbra had never harmed anyone. <laughs> this made Melody feel even more sorry for her. Umbra, she just wants to take the gem and put her own child to live in danger. Don't listen to her. <gasps> Get out of here! <gasps> Melody immediately chased after her. Stop! <clears throat> if you know what's good for you, don't stand in my way. I don't need anything! Just please don't take my only sister away! Athena <sighs> furious struck what? Melody! Please, Mother, spare Melody. After all, she had taken care of me since childhood. Be quiet, or I'll punish <gasps> both of you! No one will disrupt my revenge plan! <gasps> Umbra felt disappointed at her mother, who had been distant for so long, proved to be exceedingly cruel and ruthless resorting to any means to achieve her goals. <laughs> no, this gem belongs to the peacocks. Athena grew even more furious and cast a spell towards Umbra. <laughs> Melody quickly unfurled her peacock tail to shield her sister. Her peacock tail acted as a sturdy barrier, deflecting the reverse spell back towards Ravena. Ravena was thrown back into a tree and fell unconscious. Melody's once bright tail was now tattered. Thank you for saving me, sister. No matter what happened, you were always a member of the Peacock Clan. Both of them returned the gem to its original position. <laughs> As for Ravena, she was imprisoned in the darkest dungeon, paying for the mistakes she had made. No! The story ended here. <laughs> Please press the subscribe button on Woa Fairy Tale to discover more heartwarming stories. <laughs> In life, everyone has many dreams and hopes. However, there are some wishes that you may never be able to fulfill. But if you are sincere and believe in the magic, the wishing fairies like us will come to you and grant your wishes.
And that was Camilla, the beautiful and hard-working fairy who granted wishes in the magical kingdom. From the day she was born, she had the task of fulfilling the dreams of all beings. If Camilla completed 100 wishes and collected enough stars in her jar, she would finally have a wish of her own. She wished to become the greatest wish-granting fairy and rule the enchanted forest. However, there was one wish she could never grant, the wish of resurrection, which was strictly forbidden. Therefore, she disliked death and everything related to it. One day, Camilla saw the fairy of wishes, Josie, struggling to fulfill the wish of a family. Despite her efforts, she couldn't complete it, so Camilla hurriedly went to help them. After granting the wish, the person was pleased and closed their eyes while Camilla finally obtained her 99th wish. Josie was furious when she witnessed this scene because she was lazy, arrogant, and jealous of Camilla's achievements. Therefore, Josie decided to steal Camilla's wish jar so that she wouldn't have to work hard anymore. Uh -huh. Josie, what are you doing? I'm just taking back my wish, and while I'm at it, I'll take your wish jar too. However, Camilla was quick-witted and flexible, so Josie couldn't easily defeat her. Therefore, she quickly cast a spell on innocent people to lure Camilla into saving them. When Camilla lost focus, Josie stole the wish jar. However, Josie didn't enjoy it for long when suddenly, the Grim Reaper appeared. It turned out that the Grim Reaper was just doing his job and came here to take the soul of the departed to the other side. He didn't care about the battle between the fairies, but when he saw Camilla's wish jar almost fulfilled, he changed his mind. The Grim Reaper cast a spell and captured Josie, then took back the wish jar and made an offer to Camilla. Huh? I'll help you get this wish jar back if you agree to help me. Hmm. Huh? Go to the Lake of Knowledge in the Holy Land of the Fairies, which I cannot go to on my own. So that I can find out about my past love whom I haven't heard from for so long. Moreover, if you complete this wish for me, won't you have fulfilled all 100 wishes? Huh? Even though I despise those Grim Reapers who have no emotions, are rigid, and only know how to capture souls like him. <sighs> but I can't let my wish be stolen. Therefore, Camilla accepted to fulfill the Grim Reaper's wish, and this was her 100th wish. Afterward, the Grim Reaper happily returned the wish bottle to Camilla. On their way, Camilla discovered that the Grim Reaper's name was Dawson, one of the Reapers who collected souls in this forest. And he had a completely opposite personality to her. Huh? Huh? If Dawson was always cold and somewhat fierce with everyone, Camilla was enthusiastic and willing to help them. However, Dawson realized that Camilla never refused any tasks, which made her easily exhausted and her health was deteriorating. When Camilla woke up, she saw Dawson taking care of her very carefully and gently, far from his frightening appearance. Why are you helping me? Because I don't want my guy to die before fulfilling my wish. Hmm. I thought you were kind enough to help me. You are foolish. You always appear strong and concerned about others, but you neglect your own health and become very weak huh? like this. I did this just to help others. You should remember to accept tasks huh? that are within your ability and not make others huh? depend on you. 
because everything needs to learn how to be self-sufficient and develop their own abilities in difficult times for long-term growth. When you don't care about yourself, love yourself, you will always live in a state of insecurity with everything in life. Moreover, people will be very worried about you. What Dawson said is right. I always work hard and never rest because I don't want to disappoint or make everyone sad. But sometimes it only makes everything worse. Camilla gradually understood the Grim Reaper's reminders, and then she intended to continue the journey. But suddenly, they heard a painful cry nearby. When they were investigating the cause, they stumbled upon an old villager who had passed away due to old age and weakness. However, as Dawson was about to take the soul to the other side, the family adamantly refused to hand over the soul to him. This made the Grim Reaper very upset, but Camilla quickly calmed his anger. I understand that it is your responsibility to take the soul to the other side, but please don't harm the innocent. They only did so out of regret and remorse for the lives of their loved ones. Therefore, please understand and forgive the negative emotions of everyone and let them have some more time to bid farewell to their loved ones. Hearing this, Dawson tried to regain his composure and gently comforted everyone. Mm. All right, I will give you more time to bid farewell to this soul. You don't have to worry too much. He was originally kind and hardworking. Surely, he will live happily in the afterlife. With the gentle actions and words of the Grim Reaper, everyone finally understood and sent the soul back to him. See, I told you, if you behave kindly, everything will be resolved smoothly and quickly. That's right. Thank you very much. I understand how important kindness is in this deadly job. Seeing Dawson becoming gentler, mm. Camilla smiled brightly and nodded. <laughs> Gradually, Camilla also realized that her heart was beating more irregularly and happily every time she talked to Dawson. However, huh? she tried to push away any romantic thoughts because she thought it was just a temporary crush and Dawson already had someone he had dreamed of. Mm. 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 After many days of overcoming difficult paths together, Dawson and Camilla finally arrived at the Lake of Knowledge. However, they did not notice that a dark eye was watching them. Camilla and Dawson arrived at the lake and met a beautiful goddess who called herself the caretaker of this place. I am the goddess of knowledge, the one who knows everything on earth. So you must be the grim reaper and the fairy seeking me to ask about the lost lover of the grim reaper, right? Yes, that's right. Can you tell us the answer? Of course. The lover of the grim reaper is this girl right here. However, huh? Camilla was very surprised when she saw her own image in front of her. Why? Is the person Dawson is looking for me? Because, because you were, were his lover in the, the past, past life. It turned out that in their past life, Camilla was Dawson's lover. <laughs> However, at that time, Dawson was a playboy who didn't care about his girlfriend. So Camilla became depressed and passed away. Huh? <laughs> After learning the truth, Dawson regretted and suffered a lot. He was willing to become the Grim Reaper to keep the beautiful memories of Camilla. At the same time, Dawson always waited for the day to meet her again. As long as he saw her happy, she would disappear. Dawson never expected that in the next life. Camilla would be a beautiful fairy, so they were completely different from each other from appearance to position. Therefore, he tried to help Camilla become the best fairy by fulfilling her 100th wish, and then he would vanish. So everything was like that. Why didn't you tell me that we were once lovers? I have done too many things wrong to you. Besides, from the beginning, you did not like the Grim Reaper like me. Huh? 
So as long as you know that the person I always love and miss in this last moment is still you, that's enough. Before Camilla could say anything else, she felt a surge of power rushing towards them. Therefore, Camilla quickly used her magic to protect Dawson. The person who attacked them was Josie, the one who was taking advantage of Camilla to fulfill her 100th wish. It turned out, Josie tried to escape from the cage using her magical flames. However, she couldn't control it, and everything was burned down. After that, Josie didn't help anyone, and only went to find Camilla and Grim Reaper himself. When Josie found Camilla and Grim Reaper, she was furious and jealous that Camilla had completed her 100th wish. So Josie continued to be greedy and attack them. The wish jar is mine! Josie, don't you dare take that wish jar away! After witnessing Josie's greed and mischief, Grim Reaper used his last bit of energy to open the gate of hell and punish her. However, Josie quickly dragged the Grim Reaper down to hell with her. Camilla rushed to help Dawson, but the Grim was afraid that Camilla would be sucked into the gate too, so he sacrificed himself to close the gate. The wish bottle! <laughs> I wish Dawson could be resurrected and live happily ever after with me. Unfortunately, her wish couldn't come true huh? because she wasn't allowed to resurrect anyone. Huh? <laughs> if we can't be together in this life or the next, then I wish for all couples like us to overcome all hardships and have eternal happiness. Then, beams of light from the wish bottle shone brightly, fulfilling her wish. Many years later, she met someone who looked very similar to Dawson on the road while she was granting wishes for everyone. Thank you for helping me. Do I have a chance to get to know you? I would be delighted. suddenly invite me to the beach today. Are you jealous of your classmates again? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not! Why do I have to be jealous of them? That's so trivial! Staying at home for a long time is not good for our health! This is an opportunity to improve it! Oh, I know! It's also a chance to test this new invention! Animal translation device! <laughs> Again? To prepare for this trip, I also used a water-resistant substance. Sure that I can still hear it in the water as usual. Hello, my friends! Is he talking to us? Impossible! Humans can't understand what we say. Huh? I understand it all, buddy! What? Does, Does he understand, understand what we say? say? I do! Do you think it's great? Is he talking to those crabs? Never mind, we're busy. I heard the seagull said there's a shark on the beach. We have to get there quickly. That's right. You can't miss the chance to see a shark. Sandy, look, what's that? Huh? What's that? Hmm. Looks like there's a shark run aground. That's right, a shark on the beach. Huh? Sandy, come on, we have to do something. Hurry up. Hey! Hey, say it clearly! Hey, what are you doing? None of your business. Hey, bro, I saw this fish run aground. You should release it into the sea. <gasps> what are you saying? Little boy must be mistaken. This fish is obviously pulled by my own hands from the sea. 
Liar! We've seen it all! <laughs> hey, boy, don't lie. That was just a trivial matter to me. Hey, girl, don't believe this kid. <laughs> we have a lot of witnesses here. Huh? huh? There is no one. Mm. Huh? Liar! Bad liar! Liar! Bad liar! Liar! What is this? These crabs? What is going on? Isn't this a witness? <laughs> Release huh? the shark to the sea! Huh? Release the shark to the sea! Huh? <laughs> 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 Go home safely, buddy. Thank you for saving my life. In return, I have a request. Huh? <laughs> huh? Huh? What do you mean? I am the huh? daughter of the ruler of the Undersea Kingdom. Huh? I really want to have an opportunity to repay you for saving my life. Oh. Huh? But we can't stay in the sea for too long. Hmm. Hmm. Please take a sip of water from this snail shell. You can immediately breathe underwater. <laughs> <gasps> hey, you just followed what she said without thinking? They want to repay us for saving their life. Why would they want to harm us? <gasps> mermaid? I also want to be a mermaid. <laughs> Incredible! <laughs> okay, follow me! <laughs> Look, there's even a castle under the sea! Your hand! <laughs> Let huh? me go! She is really weird today. <laughs> <laughs> Guess where is here? Oh, come on, it hurts me! <laughs> Atlantis! <gasps> There's an intruder! Who are you? We... we... Father? <gasps> My daughter? Sorry, guys. Maybe we need to change our appearance a bit. So, this is my daughter's guest. Sorry, little buddies. <sighs> wow. wow! Father, these two saved me from the wicked people above. I invited them down here to visit us. Thank you both once again. There are no words to express my thanks to you two. Sorry to scare you two. My face is so scary when I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Father. Let me take them on a tour of the kingdom. <laughs> oh, my little girl. Oh my god! 
It's getting dark. We have to go home. Huh? Why does time go by so fast? Do you have to go back? Everyone has a family to return to. That's right. So, how can I get my legs back? You just need to be on the ground for a while, and you will return to the original. <laughs> Thank you. I will definitely be back. <laughs> there are other rare species for my collection. <laughs> Sabrina, come here and play with us. Be careful. Huh? Mom is here! Guys, let's get in line! <laughs> Hello, everyone. Today we are welcoming a new member. This is Lily. She will be here with us from today. Let's welcome her. Hi, Hi Lily. Lily! Welcome to your new house! this pretty cake? I made it myself. Lily, come and play with us. It's fun. Uh -huh. It's been a few days. Has Lily always been sad and isolated herself from everyone around like this, Ben? Yes, but she is very mysterious. The other day I saw a very strange thing. I see a dark shadow. Uh -huh. Seems to be a woman who often appears next to Lily, but when I ran to ask, that huh? shadow suddenly uh -huh. dis disappeared. Uh -huh. Ben, what are you doing? Who let you in here? You loathsome! Uh -huh. Really? Can you see that shadow clearly? What does she look like? I'm not sure, because she disappeared very quickly, but that woman is spooky. to do with Lily. I will not let you do that. Are you okay? Has the evil spirit done anything to you yet? What are you doing? Who let you in here? You made my mother disappear. What? Is that your mother? I... Why? Why did you force me to go to the orphanage? Why do you guys keep messing around when my mom shows up like that? No one understands anything. I hate you all. <laughs> mm. huh? Principal, can you tell me more about Lily's situation? Hmm. Before, huh? Lily had a happy family, but then Lily's mother unfortunately passed away due to a serious illness. She has no relatives left, so I brought her here. The shadow just now really looks like the person in the photo. I should go ask Lily to clarify everything. <laughs> accidentally ruining the moment when you met your mother again. But I have a present for you. Huh? Mom! Come on, Lily. Don't cry. 
And if you open your heart and tell me everything, I promise to help you meet your mother again. Huh? Really? Uh, yes. I heard they often call you a magician. You promised to help me already. <laughs> <coughs> Lily, I'm going away soon. If you miss me, call this ring. Mom will always be by your side. <laughs> so when I miss my mother, I call her to appear again. Huh? But everyone is always watching, so she can't stay with me for long. In the past few days, there were times when I called, my mother did not answer. Magician, no, Sabrina. Help huh? me see my mother and I can spend a little more time with her. All right, Lily. I promise to help you. Let's close your eyes. <laughs> Because you were a good person when you were alive, I allowed you to see your daughter three times. Now it's overdue. You have to go. Huh? huh? <laughs> oh, Lily! My daughter! Mom! I heard about their plight. Lily is very pitiful, mm -hmm. so I brought her here. Mm. Please let them be together for the last time. Okay, then I will allow Lily's mother to stay with her for one more hour. Mom, it's Sabrina. She helped me get here. God, thank you. Thank you so much, Sabrina. It's awesome. Cakes made by you are the best. I want to learn from you your cooking recipes so huh? that Lily can often eat the familiar <laughs> dishes. Is that okay? Of course. Please help me take mm. care of Lily. <laughs> Remember to always be obedient. Listen to Sabrina and live happily with your mm. friends. I will always be with you and I will be very happy in heaven. Yes! Mm. <laughs> From now on, whenever you miss your mother, you can see her figure in this bracelet. Thank you, Sabrina. <laughs> Bye, Mom. I promise to always be strong, happy, and live happily with everyone so that you are rest assured. Wow, fairy tales. <laughs>